Hey everyone, Bricknut here. In this video we're going to be taking a look at a LEGO City set and this time we have set number 60221, The Diving Yacht. So this set comes with two minifigures, the boat, um, two lots of diving gear, there's two helmets, two oxygen tanks, our dude here has got one on, Two sets of flippers, we've got a set here and he's wearing a set. A little specimen jar, I suppose. I think that's what it is. A little marker buoy. And a camera. And this sort of little setup. Um, I'm not quite sure how that would work. Because this is meant to be under the ocean, so I suppose you'd have to pretend. You know, the yacht is up there somewhere. Anyway, here's our figures. I don't believe I've got any rear printing. No, nope. no second face. So here's our little dude. Oop. I'm going to take his flippers off because they're going to fall off anyway. One of them had. Oop. His hair's not on straight. Sorry about that, dude. He's got a nice sort of um, wetsuit design to his torso. He's not got a great deal under the back there. Uh, and here is our lady. So if you're wondering what's underneath the other one, it's pretty much that. Just a zip for the wetsuit. This is one of those caps with the moulded in hair, which I actually like. So yeah, a couple of nice little figures. I think we know what the flippers are like. Right, we've got two pairs in black. I don't think I've got any in black. I've got them in orange, I've got them in yellow. Yeah, anyway, here's the oxygen tanks. These have been around a very long time. These were around when I was a kid, actually. Yeah, so this is one thing that has never changed. Lego has never changed those. Actually, there is a different version, but they don't use that version as often. They've got the um, grey version, just the one tank, whereas that's got t um, two tanks. So this thing, I presume it's meant to be a specimen jar, because it is uh, clear. But I've used, if the camera focuses on it, the um, one by one round tile with the um, can print on it, the ring pull for a can print on it. Uh, so, specimen jar. Could be a drink, I suppose, if you wanted it to be. But I think it is meant to be like a, a sample jar or something. Here's the diving helmets. Seen a lot of these in white with the little, you know, the little goggles on with the snorkel piece. I don't know why they'd have a snorkel piece on there when they've got oxygen tanks, but never mind. Sort of defeats the purpose, doesn't it, of having the um, oxygen tanks? I'm going to move all this out of the way. There's the camera. It's one of these big camera pieces, but in reverse. They've put the light and the lens on this side, not that side. So it's got like a big long extra focus zoom lens or something on it. I really don't know what I'm talking about because I'm not a photographer. <laughs> but I just thought that was quite... I would have never have thought of doing that with this camera piece. <clears throat> anyway. Marker buoy is just simply a flag which is two stickers. And that one did go on a little bit wonky. It's just some, one of those um, post pieces and one of those little... I have no idea what that yellow piece or that post piece is called. <clears throat> but it's simple. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to save the boat to last, I think. Because one thing I did like with this set is a new shark piece. We've got swordfish. It is basically their shark mould with this piece the headpiece is new because it's got the saw piece on it. The swordfish. 
I've actually just realised that the eyes are a much better print on these than they used to be. When I was little, actually, I don't think they had a print when I was little. I think they had, like, little indents. I'm going to have to dig some up, because I have got some old ones in my collection. Uh, yeah, dig some up just to have a look now. Anyway, put him down there. I suppose it could be a her, whichever you prefer. So we've then got this little build. Two nice big bits of seaweed and some weed there and a little blue fish swimming around. Which is just on a claw brick. And in the chest, if I just take the chest off, it's going to be easier. <coughs> um, we have got, again, just a couple of red jewels that seem to be their favourite choice of colour at the minute. Red jewels. It's the second set that's had red jewels in. Or gems. Could be gemstones. Rubies. Could be rubies if you want them to be rubies. <coughs> Excuse me, my voice disappeared. I think I need to just take a quick drink. Oh. It's a simple little bill. It's nice though, and a dark tan angled plate. You know, there's so many Lego pieces. I actually don't know how many individual brick types there are. But I know there's hundreds and hundreds. I think it would be very difficult to remember the name of every piece. As well as, you know, the, the, um, the part number for each. I certainly couldn't. My memory's not that good. So here's the um, yacht. I actually bought this because even though it's pretty simple, there's not a lot to this. I actually like the design of it because it's one of the few boats that they've made with a, you know, a completely covered cab area. This is just one big hull piece which they've used a number of times. Um, I know a lot of people don't like these big hull pieces, but from a playset perspective, this floats. It would be great for the kids. Um, but yeah, if you're an AFOL and you prefer brick built, I don't think you're going to like the um, one piece moulding. But yeah, this should float. I haven't tested it, but these um, one piece hulls are supposed to float. I'm going to have to try that. I haven't tried any of mine in there. I've got the fishing boat as well. I don't know if I ever did a review on that. But anyway, there's not a great deal to it. If we look inside, there is what appears to be a bed area down there. Um, there is a sticker right over the back there. Can I get this top off, actually? Oh, good. That makes life easier. So, yeah, this looks like a bed to me. I suppose that would be good if they have to um, stay out at sea overnight. Got the um, boat steering wheel and dials there for speed, I'm guessing, and whatnot. And then right there, there's a big sticker for a couple of... Um, one's a sonar, and I'm not sure what the other one is. Actually, it looks like an underwater camera. Because it's got a picture of what looks like a... Um, what actually looks like the swordfish. Very cartoony picture though, can you see that? On the front we've got the main headlight there. And I'm not sure what this red bit is meant to be. Is it meant to be just an area for them to sit on when they're relaxing maybe? Got a little bench at the back there that you can sit the figures on. There is no outboard on this though, I've noticed. But maybe this one's not supposed to have one. It might be one of those with the built-in engine and the water jets out the back rather than um, an outboard motor. So we put the roof piece back on. That was actually quite good how that comes off in one piece. That's the first time I did that. I thought the actual um, roof itself came off. Another piece I don't think I've seen used before is this. Now that looks or reminded me of the sort of antenna you see on the back of limousines. If you ever seen the um, boomerang on the back of limousines, it's actually an antenna. Um, and that's pretty much what that is, that's the antenna. Then we've got the uh, navigational lights at the top there and a couple of antennas. So um, to me, like I said, it's not, there's not a lot to it, but 
It still looks good to me. I like it. I just like the design of it. It's got Deluxe written on the sticker. I've only just noticed that as well. See that? Deluxe. It's the Deluxe model. <laughs> or Deluxe, maybe, however you want to pronounce it. Somehow I've knocked my spider plant over. Stay there. Yeah, it's not a bad little set. I'm not sure on the price though. I think it's a $17.99 set. Let me just quickly check that because I've got it here. Yep, it is a $17.99 set. £17, that is. Because um, the piece count seems rather low to me, but at the same time you've got this very big boat piece there, which I expect um, makes up much of the price. But then again, as well, for a boat, you don't really need a great deal of pieces to make a nice looking boat like this. Especially if you've got the one piece hull. A lot more if you brick built it. But like I said, from a playability perspective for kids, I think that's a great idea. And I like the design as well. Um. It would be nice if it did come with a few more pieces, but I'm, having said that, I'm really not sure what you could add to it. Um, could have added outboard motors, but that's been done to death with these boats, so... I'm guessing that's why they didn't add them, because it has been done to death with a lot of previous boats. <laughs> well, yeah, I, um, I did like it. Or do like it, I should say. Not did like it. I do like it. <laughs> hmm. Is there anything else to add? Not a great deal in the way of negatives about it, aside from the fact it is minimalistic piece-wise. Hmm. Yeah. It's a cute little set. Nice little boat. That's definitely going on my lake area anyway. On my beach area. I haven't decided if it's going to be a lake or a beach yet. <laughs> so the water area could be the sea or it could be a lake. I might let you guys decide on that one. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, don't forget, if you like the video, please hit the like button. And if you're new and you like the videos, please subscribe. And uh, if you do, don't forget to hit the bell so you get notifications. That uh, seems to be YouTube's algorithm now. Otherwise, uh, you won't get notifications from me, so you won't know when I upload. So, again, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye!